Hello, Davis Bilingual Elementary Magnet School. My name is Daniel Gonzalez, and today I'm going to show you how to draw and paint your very own sugar skull. The materials you'll need is some paper, of course. It helps if the paper is a little thick. That way it won't buckle when it's wet. A pencil, brush, pen, some watercolors, and of course a napkin. When getting started, it's a good idea to draw lightly at first. A good tip for that is not to hold the pencil so close to the point, but to back up a little bit. And doing that makes it a little easier to draw lightly. So we'll get started by drawing an oval first. And then the jaw. That's pretty good. Now, make sure you give it some big eyes. Uh, nose. You can make like a little upside down heart or a triangle, it's up to you. And the mouth can be done a bunch of different ways. You can give it square teeth, like this. They don't have to be perfect. They could be silly or sharp, however you want. After you draw a basic outline, the next thing you're going to do is wet your brush, remove the extra water on there, and get some yellow. When painting with watercolors, it's really important that you use your lighter colors first. You wouldn't want to start with the purple. You might run into some trouble when you're later trying to put yellow. And try not to use too much water. If you use a lot of water, your paper will start to buckle, meaning it will bend and warp a little bit. It doesn't need to be perfect. You can see I left some little spaces here and there but I went ahead and I finished my yellow pass. Next, I'm going to try orange. So I got orange on my watercolor brush and I'm going to just very carefully do the outside of the eyes. Lovely. Wash my brush off, remove the water, get some more orange. And I'll be doing this to the teeth as well, just a little bit. This will make it look like the eyes and the nose and teeth are glowing a little bit. And you could even do a little bit of red if you want. Again, remember, you wash your brush off, remove the extra water, and get a little bit of red. Makes it look like there's a little fire inside, like it's glowing. There we go. Wash your brush off. Now we can paint with purple. So you can either mix red and blue, or if you have purple, go ahead and get purple on your brush. Very carefully, try not to go inside the eyes. You can see here I'm being real careful. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it helps if you're careful. Don't rush it, just take your time. It looks really plain and simple right now, and that's because we're going to decorate it later. Get a little bit of more paint. Just remember, try not to use too much water. That's the biggest mistake beginners do when they're painting with watercolor. They use way too much water. You just need a little bit. Mm 
The other big mistake is that they'll paint some darker colors first. All right, look at that skull. That looks pretty nice. And it's pretty simple. You can go around the outside now with the blue. Let's see, yeah, that's good blue. Don't get too much water. A little bit more blue. And I like to play around with the warm colors and the cool colors. The warm colors, you might guess, are the eyes, the colors that make up the eyes, the yellow, the red, the orange, and the cool colors are the uh, blue and the purple. There we go. That looks great. I've waited for this to dry a little bit before I go over it with a pen or a marker. And now that it's a little bit dry, I can begin to outline. When you do this, draw carefully. You don't have to press too hard, but draw with intention. You might go over the line a couple times to make it a little thicker. But doing this really helps show the different shapes and bring out the different features like the eyes or the nose. Here we can go over the teeth. There we go. And this, the outline of the skull. You can see sometimes I turn my paper to make it a little easier to draw these lines. Perfect, That's, I like how that looks. Next thing I can do is decorate. You'll see this one has a bunch of little stars and birds and zigzags. I can do something else here. Let's see, I might wanna draw some saguaro cactus because I like saguaros. You can see how I'm drawing them with the pen. Let's see. You can use pencil to draw yours first if you want. There we go. Got some cactus and maybe I'm going to do a landscape like some mountains in the back. Maybe another mountain way back there. Some mountains in the foreground here. And a moon and a cloud. But the cloud is behind the skull. There we go. I think I like it. Now, if you want to, you can decorate it or you can go ahead and paint it. Let's see, I'm gonna get some green, not too much water. And maybe, not some black, but some purple mixed with a little black. Give me that night. Now I wanna be careful to go around that moon. Oh, I went a little inside the moon. It's okay, still looks like a moon. go and maybe some brown for the mountains and the background just a little bit we don't need to go crazy you can go crazy if you want Lovely. 
let's see. You can also decorate this in any way you want. I did circles around the eyes. Maybe this time I will do triangles around the eyes. Why not? Maybe just around one eye. Maybe the other eye just has circles around it. All right. A bunch of little circles here. A bunch of little circles here. Let's see. Maybe it's got like water down here. I don't know. Why not? And cloud on his forehead with lightning. Yeah. Cool. So that's my little sugar skull. <laughs>